When it comes to homesteading, there are plenty of ways that you can end up saving money while also improving your service as a whole. Whether we're talking about the farmland itself or the animals you choose to keep on it, let's just say that the possibilities are endless from this point of view. The five best pig breeds for your farm. Number one, Tamworth. Tamworth may very well be one of the smallest breeds of pig that you can get your hands on but trust us when we say that it is truly worth it because of a multitude of reasons. First of all, it is a very lean type of a pig, and this really works out in your favor if you're looking to sell the leanest meat on the market. On top of that, they're also great foraging machines, and let's not forget about the fact that they're also amongst the friendliest breeds in the world. They are great around children, and they also make for great mascots for your farm if people ever come to visit. Number two. Choctaw. Although we absolutely love seeing a Choctaw pig every chance we get, we will preface this by stating the fact that this is a nearly extinct breed that is very hard to come by. It is actually said that less than 100 of them are still on the market, but because of this rarity, they tend to be sought after so much. So if you can actually get your hands on one then, we would highly recommend you do so because honestly, what can be better than owning a breed that nobody else out there does? Number three, Red Wattle. This right here might be one of the most docile pig breeds you will ever see, and that's a fact. They are in fact so docile that they can even end up getting attached to you from the moment they lay their eyes on you. Because of this, a lot of farmers end up getting Red Wattle pigs more as companions than as food. But alas, when the need comes, you can always get your barbecue ready and saute your little friend. If you are feeling like eating good that night, or making a profit on the market. Number four, Gloucestershire Old Spots. The Old Spots are very popular for their foraging prowess, which is no simple feat to say the least. They also make for some great pets around the farm since they're very docile, and let's not forget the fact that their meat sells very easily, and so does their lard. Overall, this is a very useful breed that can make for a great choice if you're either just now starting out on your green thumb journey or if you've been working in the field all your life by now. Number five, Mulefoot. The coolest thing about this breed that we instantly thought of when we saw one with our own eyes is probably the fact that they don't have club and hooves, which is why they're named Mulefoot in the first place. But anyways, this breed is very docile and easy to handle, and because of how sturdy of a breed, it is you will find it very useful in rougher climates since it can outlive anything you throw at it. They're also great foragers, and their fertilizer tends to be amongst the best on the market. Lastly, this breed is also worth looking into if you want a heavier pig, since the typical specimen will weigh as much as 600 pounds in total. So that's it for today. If you like this video, then please hit the like and subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching.